The legend of the White Snake is considered one of the four great folk tales in Chinese mythology, a tale that has been passed down through generations, told and retold in countless forms. It's a story of love, magic, and the clash between the human and supernatural worlds. At its heart lies the story of Xu Xian, a young herbalist, and Bai Su Zhen, a powerful snake spirit who transforms into a beautiful woman. Their love is pure and strong, but it faces unimaginable challenges from the prejudices of the world to the wrath of a determined monk. This is a tale of devotion, sacrifice, and the lengths one will go to for love. Welcome to the Mysteries of Mythology, the legend of the White Snake. Zhu Xian, a young and talented herbalist, had just begun a new chapter in his life. After years of hard work, he had finally opened his very own medicine shop, a dream he had nurtured for as long as he could remember. This should have been a moment of triumph, but fate had other plans. His former employer, resentful of Zhu Xian's success, sold him a batch of rotten herbs, leaving him with a useless inventory. Xu Xian's heart sank as he stood in his shop, surrounded by spoiled supplies. What was supposed to be the beginning of a prosperous career now seemed like a looming disaster. To make matters worse, a terrible plague had struck the city, and desperate patients were pouring into his shop, looking for cures that he didn't have. Panic began to set in as Xu Xian realized he had nothing to offer them and his new beginning was quickly turning into a nightmare. The city was gripped by fear as a deadly plague swept through the streets, claiming lives with alarming speed. The sick and the suffering flocked to Xu Xian's shop, their faces etched with desperation. Word had spread that a new herbalist had opened a medicine shop and people came in droves hoping to find a cure. But as Xu Xian looked around at the rotting herbs lining his shelves, his heart filled with dread. He had no remedies to offer, no way to help those in need. The pressure mounted as more and more patients arrived, each one looking to him with hope in their eyes. The weight of their expectations bore down on him. And for the first time, Xu Xian felt truly helpless. He had the skills and knowledge, but without proper herbs, there was nothing he could do. The shop, which was supposed to be his sanctuary, now felt like a prison, with the cries of the sick echoing through the walls. Zhu Xian was on the brink of despair, his dreams crumbling before him as the plague continued its merciless spread. After Zhu Xian had almost given up hope, his wife Bai Su Chen stepped forward with a calm and confident demeanor. Despite the dire situation, she reassured him that all was not lost. Bai Su Zhen, who had always been resourceful, surprised Xu Xian with her hidden depth of knowledge. She examined the spoiled herbs that had been the source of his despair and proposed a solution that astonished him. Bai Su Zhen explained that these herbs, though spoiled, could still be used if prepared in a very specific way. She had discovered an ancient and obscure method to transform the tainted herbs into a potent remedy. Xu Xian watched in awe as his wife quickly and skillfully prepared the medicine. When it was ready, she administered it to the plague-stricken patients who had filled their shop. To Xu Xian's amazement, the remedy worked. The patients who had been at death's door began to recover, their strength returning as the plague was driven from their bodies. Word of the miraculous cure spread like wildfire through the city, and soon people were coming from far and wide to seek treatment at Xu Xian's shop. What had seemed like a disaster had turned into a triumph thanks to Bai Su Zhen. The city was saved, and even Xu Xian's former employer, who had sold him the rotten herbs out of spite, was forced to come to them, desperate to buy back some of the very herbs he had tried to sabotage. Just as life seemed to be returning to normal, 
and the success of the medicine shop was assured, an unexpected visitor arrived at their door. A monk named Far Hai, known for his strict adherence to the principles of good and evil, sought an audience with Xu Xian. With a grave expression, Fa Hai warned Xu Xian that something was deeply wrong in his household. According to the monk, a demon disguised as his wife was living under his roof. Xu Xian was taken aback by the monk's words, finding them impossible to believe. How could his wife, the kind and resourceful Bai Su Zhen, who had saved so many lives, be a demon? Xu Xian dismissed Fa Hai's warning insisting that his wife was no demon, but Fahai was insistent. He warned Xu Xian to be cautious and suggested a test to prove his claim. Fahai advised him to serve Bai Su Zhen, Real Gar Wine, on the fifth day of the fifth month, a time when demons' powers are at their weakest. If she were truly human, the wine would have no effect on her, but if she were a demon, her true form would be revealed. Xu Xian, still skeptical but unnerved by the monk's certainty, thanked Fa Hai for his advice and promised to consider it. Although he had no intention of harming his wife, the seed of doubt had been planted. As the fifth day of the fifth month approached, Xu Xian found himself torn between his love for Bai Su Zhen and the ominous warning he had received. As the days passed, the words of the monk weighed heavily on Xu Xian's mind. Although he trusted his wife and loved her dearly, the doubt sown by Fa Hai's warning began to take root. If Bai Su Zhen were truly a demon, the real Gar Wine would force her to reveal her true form. Despite his deep affection for her, Xu Xian couldn't shake the fear that maybe, just maybe, there was some truth to Fa Hai's words. As the fifth day of the fifth month approached, Xu Xian's internal conflict grew stronger. He didn't want to betray his wife's trust, but the possibility that she might be something other than what she appeared gnawed at him. Finally, on the day in question, Xu Xian made a decision. He would serve Bai Su Zhen the real Gao wine, not out of malice, but to put his mind at ease. If she were truly human, as he believed, the wine would do no harm, and they could continue their life together without the shadow of doubt hanging over them. That evening, conflicted, Chu Xian offered the wine to Bai Su Zhen. She accepted it with a smile, unaware of her husband's fears. But as soon as the wine touched her lips, Bai Su Zhen's demeanor changed. She suddenly became pale and unsteady, excusing herself and rushing to their bedroom, claiming she felt unwell. Xu Xian's heart pounded as he followed her, his fear and guilt mingling in a painful knot in his chest. When Xu Xian reached the bedroom, he couldn't believe what he saw. Instead of his wife, a giant white snake stood in the center of the room. The sight was too much for his heart to bear. Overwhelmed by shock and terror, Xu Xian collapsed, his life slipping away as the truth of his wife's identity was revealed. Bai Su Zhen, still in her serpent form, realized with horror what had just happened. Her beloved husband, the man she had risked everything to be with, lay lifeless before her, felled by the shock of seeing her true identity. The guilt and sorrow that filled her heart were overwhelming, and at that moment she knew she had to act quickly if she was to save him. Once the effects of the wine had faded, Bai Su Zhen used her magic to return to her human form. As she stood over Xu Xian's motionless body, tears streamed down her face. Despite all her powers, she could not bring him back from the brink of death. Not yet. She knew that her only hope of reviving him lay in a rare and powerful herb that could restore life. A herb guarded by the old man of the South Pole, high in the forbidden peaks of Mount Kunlun. Determined to save Xu Xin, Bai Su Chen set her grief aside and summoned her powers once more. Without wasting another moment, she transformed into a cloud and flew towards the distant mountains, 
racing against time to retrieve the herb that could bring her husband back to life. As she soared through the sky, the full weight of her situation pressed down on her. The love she had tried so hard to protect had been shattered, and now her only chance to make things right was to face unimaginable dangers and challenges in the hope of bringing Xu Xian back from death's grasp.